The Rule of Saint Benedict Readings on Daily Mat Talk to me, brother. Is there anything I can do to help here? I'm glad you asked. There's one thing, a silly thing, really. I haven't thought to mention it to anyone before. But not long ago, a brother brought me a crumpled piece of parchment. He says he found it rolled up in a hole in the wall. The thing is, it was a page from Ovid. Ovid? What is that? Is it the name of a book? Not what, but who? Ovid was a great Roman poet. We have a few volumes by him in the library, but one of them vanished one day. Now I believe I can guess what happened. Brother Eustace, may the earth rest slightly on him, was quite narrow-minded when it came to classical literature. If a book had any mention of woman at all, he condemned it as a heretical work. If he'd had his way, all such books would have been burned. Ovid's The Art of Love must have been such a thorn in his side that he stole it from the library, tore it up, and hid the pages wherever he could. Can you tell me something about the book? The Art of Love is a sort of manual instructing young people how to find and maintain love. It's a lovely work. I don't understand what bothered Eustace so much about it, but as I was saying, he considered the book to be immoral and tore it up to stop it corrupting any of his brothers. Oh, would you like me to put the book back together again? Absolutely! Eustace's wits weren't the sharpest, so I'm sure he didn't destroy any of the pages. I imagine he hid them throughout the monastery. It might take you a while to find them all, but when you do, you can rest assured Ovid will return to his rightful place in the library. Good. I'll look around for it. Thank you, brother. It's of no great importance, but if you can find all ten pages, I'll be most grateful. Where should I look? If I knew, I wouldn't have asked you to do it. The pages of the book could be hidden anywhere. From the garden to the refectory.
What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Well, probably the same as you. I want to be able to read in peace and quiet. And not just the books they make us read. Ah, I see. Well then, I'll just concentrate on what I'm doing and pretend you're not here. You do the same. As you wish. And if I could recommend some good reading to you, you'll find it in that locked cabinet. It's full of forbidden books. Until recently, it was still unlocked. But after something vanished, they've kept it locked tight. If something vanished, I can understand why. Books are meant to be read, so why keep them hidden away? If you're able to get inside, I'll be grateful till the day I die. All I'll do is leaf through a few books and then put them right back.
hours in sacred reading. That end, we think that the times for each may... Ah, Gregor, talk to me. I have all the pages of the torn up book. The art of love can go back to the library. Oh, brother, you can't even imagine how happy you've made me. Since you're clearly a true lover of books, I'll give you a reward I've never given another novice. I'll lend you the key to the cabinet containing forbidden books, and you can look at the peculiar things we've accumulated there. That cabinet's strictly off limits to novices, but you've earned my trust. I'm sure you'll recognize that those books contain nothing but dangerous gibberish, and there's a valuable lesson to be learned there. Thank you, brother. I appreciate your trust. The Rule of St. Benedict Readings on Daily Manual Labor 